today in the shack, push forward. We're swapping the uh, LED fault meter because they chew power. Um, I found that out when I used to have three. I had one for power in, one for uh, what's in the bank and what was coming out. And I realized they were just chewing the battery up. Um, especially the amount of amps that were coming in. Most of it was feeding the LED volt meter before it was actually getting to the charge controller and the battery. Um, so I've ordered one of these little mini ones. It's about two inches in diameter. I'm just dremeling out some plastic now. Uh, so it can fit in some housing and screw the housing in place of that one. Um, it's 20, no sorry, it's a 15 volt. It's hard to find a 15 volt, majority of them are. Like, um, I don't know, higher figures. Um, then the lowest I found was like a 20, and then I randomly come across this mini 15. It's hard to see because of the light. But yeah, 15 volt DC mini analog panel meter. I'm just going to wire it up now and uh, swap it over for that one. Okay, very crude wiring. Just again, bits of crap being built with rubbish that's just laying around in the garage here. Desk full of donated parts from random projects. Um, it's wired up to the uh, switch of the battery, which is also the uh, master switch for the system. So when that comes on, it's pinging up now to 12, bang on 12 volts. Uh, let's get some charge in it and we should see the needle go up and the system should shut off just before the needle hits 15 volts. There we go, there we go, yes. 13, right, that same 13 volts, I know that shuts off at 14 point, at 14. So that needle is slightly lazy. It's only cheapy, it's not adjustable. But it still gives me a bloody better idea. Turn the panel off now. Um, yeah, that's slowly dropping back down to 12, which is generally what happens anyway. Normally it sits on 12.8 when it's fully charged. And that's sitting bang on 12, just above 12. Just above 12.5, sorry. That's 10 and then 15. Goes up in 5, 10, 15, multiples of 5. And that's just over halfway between 10 and 15. So, yeah, 12.8 system floats and it cuts off at 14. And I can see the voltmeter now rising up. Hits 13. And that kicks it in and shuts down. Uh, so I don't get overcharged. That actually kicks in at 14 volts, but that's saying 13. So I have to make a mental note of that. Um, right, I'll uh, turn it all off, turn the light off on my camera, and then uh, do a quick video right, again. Here we go. Not sure if the camera's going to pick any of this up. Um, needles on naught. Let's get the bulkhead light on. Turn the mains off in the garage. The bulkhead comes on. There you go, right, and the system is going on. Needle pings up just over 12. Now I'll turn the solar panel on. And the needle's slowly rising up. 14 volts. And the system. That light's actually flashing, you probably didn't see it before either. That's blinking, telling me that the air, there's no more charge going in. Right, so that's my energy saving part for my project, my solar project. Again, it's only a small solar project. For those that you haven't seen the build before, it's just to run a couple of radios in the shack. Uh, I can charge my handsets uh, and run like CBs and amateur radio. And of course, a few lights got couple of sockets there, 12 volt, um, some USB ports there, two of each, and I just wanted to get that analog meter one because it uses a lot less power than the uh, than these blue ones, I've got a load of these spare now, I'll use them for something else I'm sure. In there I've got a 17 amp hour battery, 12 volt, 
pretty much exactly the same size as that box. Four screws, battery comes off, and the old system slides off the wall. Uh, same with the panel. The panel's just temporary on the roof, so I can pull it down and take it away if need be. And I've got um, three sockets here for power coming in. I've only got one panel plugged in at the moment. Uh, that's all I need to keep the system afloat. All right, let's get some light. No, no lights plugged in. I've unplugged all the lights because I had to plug in the iPhone. Charged it up, and the iPhone uses quite a lot of power. Um, yeah, the iPhone really does kill the battery <laughs> compared to like, I know, uh, the big old Icom I've got, sidebander Icom. Yeah, fantastic. Right, I'm gonna go because I don't need to be videoing so long. Um, but yeah. No longer need these now. Do, 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 do. We are saving power and making power. Thanks for watching YouTube. Catch you on the next video.